You wanna see something? It's time for another video. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. As a video creator, we want to have the necessary tools with us that make our life easier. Having these essential tools in your camera bag will come in handy and help you in many ways. So let's get started. You've probably seen this before. This is the air blower. Especially with interchangeable cameras, this tool helps getting rid of general dust particles from your sensor. This dust particle normally appear as spots in the image, which can be very annoying and sometimes hard to fix. So if your sensor has any sort of loose particle, all you have to do is take off the lens and hold the camera upside down so that the dust particles can fall while blowing into the sensor. Be careful though to not touch the sensor with the blower. And that's it. Okay. I recommend doing that before every shoot. The air blower costs around $6. I suggest you get the whole camera cleaning kit that comes with it. By the way, I will link all the products in the video description below. So next, we have the Red Sidewinder Multi-Tool. This is an essential piece of tool I use very often and costs around $28, especially when I'm working on my Sony a7 III rig where I need different keys to mount different parts. Uh, this comes in very handy. It's a pocket-sized tool that fits good into my camera bag and doesn't use any space at all. I think I need to tighten some parts in my head because they're loose. If you create videos, I suggest you get the Aperture LED Mini M9, which is a small portable light that you can easily take with you in your camera bag. This light costs around 50 bucks, which is not really that much for the value you get from it. The great thing about this light is that it has internal batteries, which allow you to recharge it. It comes with an orange and blue plastic gel, which can be used for different scenarios. So the light has a great output source um, and lasts for a good time. So you can use the light as a practical light in the background to make the scene look more interesting. Or if you don't have any other lights available, you can use this as a key light. I do find that it produces a soft light when used correctly. So I'm gonna turn this key light off and use the aperture at nine to light my face with it. <laughs> so it doesn't look that bad for $50. I used this light a lot uh, during this one shoot I had where the scene basically took place at night and I was amazed on how well it did. So for night shoots, definitely have it with you as well as for doing vlogs at night or shooting at small dark areas like in cars, this light comes in really handy. This compact memory card case holder provides protection for my SD cards. Um, the tough clamps ensure that the cards don't fall out and are protected from weather, water, dust, or anything else which could damage it. Because uh, the worst thing that can happen to you is that your footage gets damaged and all data is lost. It's small, lightweighted, and just costs around uh, $12. All right, next we have the Samsung T5 portable solid state drive that has 500 gigabytes of storage and costs around $90. This piece comes in different storage size option. It can go up to two terabytes. The data transfer on this thing goes up to 540 megabits per second, which is five times faster than the average day hard drive. Whenever I don't work from home, Home, I bring my laptop with me and edit from this portable solid state drive. It works really great for me because of its fast data transfer. I can preview and edit the footage in Final Cut seamlessly without having any lags when editing in 4K. What I really like about it is the crazy small size that can fit into my pocket. Now the design is simple, compact, and lightweighted. You even have the option to put a password protection on it 
to not let others see or add any data to it. Since it's an SSD, it doesn't have any moving parts in it and has therefore a shock resistance up to two meters. So let's try it out. I think it's broken. All right, guys, that was it for today's video. Let me know in the comments section below what you think belongs into your camera bag. Leave a like if you find this video helpful. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. My name is Bennett Grazer, and I will see you in the next video. Can't wait.